Okay, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to build a custom health drop system. Also ammo drops as well. They both run the same way, but I'll show you how to do them both. Now for those of you who don't know, there's actually uh, gameplay settings here. And what you can do is you can set it up all kinds of drops and stuff like that. You can set it up for normal drop, for normal kills and glory kills. And you can set it up for health, ammo, armor, and all that stuff. You can even set it up like the single player campaign where it only drops health when you're low on health. And it only drops ammo when you're low on ammo. And you just got to make sure you set it up as well, too, by the way, just by doing stuff like this. And if you do this, it'll work automatically. Okay. But not everyone likes to use that. Some people want to do their own custom system. Okay. Here's what we can do. And this took four takes, by the way. So I'll try and get this working properly. Uh, let's make this the imp. All killed. Let's be for the small health. You can set it for medium and large health, but we're going to do it the small one first. Okay, play it up. The enemy, they drop health. Kill them again, they drop health. And so on and so forth. Because that's how you get that working. Okay. But now let's say you want to have bigger health drop when you reach a certain percentage of health. So you gotta do that. Actually, wait. First, let me show you the percentage health uh, thing real quick. You go to vitals. If you click on it, it says on health percentage reached. You do that, and you can set up a boolean. Set the true. Set the false by default. Now we're gonna knock this. To about 95%. You also want to set it up so that when you get hurt, it'll, uh, it'll do the same thing. So this way, it'll activate when you get hurt. Or when it does not 95%. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'll leave it. Basically, what this does is that when your health drops below 95%, it'll activate something. Okay, it'll activate this, and then you can just drop health items. So, with that boolean, you only drop when this is activated. Then you can set it up so that when you pick up ammo, or pick up health, I'm sorry, it'll deactivate it. But it'll click on again if you get hurt. Okay? Because the thing about this is that if you're below this percentage um, and it turns off, it won't trigger back on unless you go below it again for some reason. Um, I don't know why it does that, but it just does it that way. So let's go ahead and play it. Kill him, nothing drops. Hits me. Now he drops health. Kill him again. He won't drop anything, but if I get hit. There we go. Okay. Now 
it's not perfect, and it might be a little finicky, but that's how you get that working, basically. And if you want, you can make it a higher health piece so that you go back to full health pretty quickly. So if you want to do that, you can do that. Now we want to set up to where we get bigger health if we reach a lower percentage. Let's do that. Small object. Want to do. Slip another Boolean. True. This one will be 50%. Turn my once off, by the way, otherwise it'll only do it one time and that's it. Oops. Only one, there we go. And we pick it up. And we'll set the false. This will be set up for a large house. Normally drops nothing. You hit once, drops a little bit of health. It drops the medium health. If I hit him, it drops nothing. I can hit a lot. Oh, beat the crap out of me. There we go. Now if I kill him, I'm supposed to drop out. There it is. I forgot the setup for the activator. <laughs> I'll go back and fix that. Always forget that part. All right, we'll show it off one more time. So again, I kill him normally, nothing drops. If I drop, if you hit a little bit, that's medium health, I get that. Okay, now if I get the crap beat out of me. Okay. I kill him, drops large health. There we go. Hit some more, get the medium health, get the crap beat out of me. Shot. Okay, when I kill him, I get the large health. There we go. Okay. So that's how you can get that working. Okay. Again, it's not as good as the other system, but if you want a custom system, this is how you have to build it. Okay? So that's how you make a health system. But now let's go over another little trick here. You guys remember that um, the E3 demo from 2015? If you watch the demo again, you'll notice that in the health section, the player does not die. In fact, the player's health drops down to 10%, and it doesn't go below that, even when he gets the crappy at him. If you watch the demo again, look it up. There's actually a way to do that in Snap Map. I'll show you how to do that. We're going to go here, we're going to drop it down to 25%, which is a little bit easier because some enemies hit harder than others. What we're going to do, when we get down to that, go to ability buff, damage, knock it all the way down. Okay, this makes it so the enemies basically just don't hurt you. Okay, they might do a slight bit of damage, but not a whole lot. It also depends what enemy it is. But then we pick up the large health. We can set up so it goes back to normal. Okay. So now, 
when my health drops below 25%, I won't die. But if it goes above that, it goes back to normal. Let my health drop all the way down. See that? It's not dropping. But if I kill him, he can hurt me again. Just below that, can't do nothing. If I kill him. Get out. It goes back to normal. Now, the cool trick about that is that if you want to make a level where you don't want the player to die, or if you suck at building a, you know, a live system or something like that, you can build it so that it puts pressure on the player with no punishment. You know, and they won't realize it until later in the level anyway, but it's a little something to make a level feel like you're getting hit. It puts pressure on the player so that they can actually, you know, do something about it. And you can do the same thing in a turn with the player also. Like, when your health reaches that amount, you can pull out a, mo a modifier, except the damage and stuff like that. But you got to use the booleans and stuff like that also to turn it back to normal, so you got to remember that part. That's how you get the health system to work. Now with the ammo system, it's a similar issue actually. Um, but there's a certain way you gotta do it though. So we're going to do ammo. Later. Now the cool thing about doing your own ammo is that when you do it with the other system, it only does the ammo pack. It's the only thing it drops, which fills up everything basically. A certain percentage. You can do an ammo box with this if you want. You can also do BFG bullets for both the uh, machine gun and the uh, assault rifle, cells for some of the plasma weapons, fuel for the chainsaw, rockets for the rocket launcher, and shells for the shotgun. We're going to show for the shotgun because that's what we want to do. Kill this enemy. I get ammo. I get ammo. And so on and so forth. Also, on a side note, you can also set this up so that it won't drop ammo unless you get hit. You can do it that way as well. Okay, so if you want to do it that way, you can set it up for that. But now, let's say you want a different type of ammo. Let's say you want to have all five types of ammo in your level, but you don't want them to drop too early. You want them to drop only when the weapon gets picked up. Okay, there's a way to do that. We're going to take off of this. And let's do... We'll do BFG ammo. And we'll set up another boolean. And by the way, if you're thinking about setting up a weapon filter, do yourself a favor and don't, because it only works um, if the player is the activator. If a demon's the activator, it does not work, so don't bother with that. Let's go and grab the BFG. Let me pick this up. We'll set that to true. Set that up so now when we get hit and we need to get ammo, it'll spill ammo, but it'll only spill the shotgun ammo. If we get hit and we pick this gun up, 
then it'll spill the BFG ammo. And you can set it to false if you want. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to show it. Well, you know what? I'll do it anyway. What the hell? Actually, we need to because the, uh, the health will do it automatically. Never mind. All right, here we go. Look at the demon right away. Drops nothing. I get hit. There we go. He dropped health and he dropped ammo. I not drop it anymore. Pick this up. Doesn't drop anything. I get hit. And he drops ammo. Let me get hit again. Shoot him and I get ammo. Shoot him now, he drops nothing. If I get hit, he drops everything I need. Okay. Okay, so basically that's how you set up your own custom system. Yeah, it takes some work, you gotta really dig through it, but if you do it right, you can actually have a more in-depth experience that doesn't make it too overpowered, doesn't make it too underpowered. If you play around with the numbers a little bit, you can actually make it a lot more fun. Okay. And with that being said, thank you all for watching, and you all take care.